And last night at the Legacy Center in Brighton, Grand Ledge's baseball team not only beat Northville, who's the number one ranked team in Division One, the Comets threw a no-hitter in the process. The one nothing victory marked this seventh straight win for GL. And this morning they were looking for number eight. Eight. Grand Ledge welcomed Portland to Gorman Field for a double header and there were no back to back no hitters for GL because the Raiders would come out swinging in the first inning with a runner on second base. Evan Thalen finds the outfield grass and brings home Mark Nobis for the first run of the game. Nobis got the start for Portland and he was lights out thanks to the defense behind him. On a deep fly ball to left field, check out this diving catch from Brady Krause. He plays on the offensive and defensive line during the football season, but looked more like a wide receiver today. Grand Ledge also flashed the leather in game one with two runners on in the fifth inning. Caden Sobsick goes full extension to end the inning and keep things tied at one. It remained that way up until the final inning. Top of the seventh, Portland had a runner on third and Evan Thalen delivers once again the sack fly allows Caden Thalen to score the go-ahead run as he just gets in there. And in the bottom half of the inning, Nobis is going to get the ground ball to third to record the complete game victory. Portland wins game one of the doubleheader, two to one. Nobis is a three-sport athlete for the Raiders, and he wants to take his talents to the moon. Yeah, I want to be an aerospace engineer. I, I don't know. I got big goals, I guess. He's he's obviously a top-notch individual, so he, he wants the ball. I try to have a positive mindset and everything, even if stuff's getting down. I gave up around there. It's just like just try to turn around and tell people everything's good. We got to love Mark Nobis. Got to love Mark Nobis. Oh yeah, Grand Ledge did go on to win game two of the doubleheader, 11-1. to And in between games, the Comets inducted three members into its Baseball Hall of Fame. Brothers Mike and Mark Rademacher, along with Paul Davison. Mike graduated from GL in 1973 and has spent 45 years on the varsity squad's coaching staff. Prior to being named co-head coach in 2020, he served as an assistant coach under Pat O'Keefe since 1979. His younger brother Mark spent 36 years as the head baseball coach at Puama Westphalia and the two played a big role in youth baseball at Grand Ledge. All three have spent at least over a decade coaching because of their love for teaching the next generation. I have never been in it for the limelight. I mean, I, I've never, I've never tried to bang my own drum or anything like that. I was, you know, that's the way I was brought up. One of the reasons I became a teacher is because I wanted to coach at the high school level. So it gives me a lot of pride to see students not only have succeeded in the classroom, but especially in the, on the baseball diamond. It's a lifetime achievement. You, you go through a lot of years of coaching kids that uh, and, and make a big impact on kids and and then uh, this comes along and it, it definitely uh, it makes it all worth it.